Hey guys, this is Yankee starting for eleven here, and uh, I'm feeling kind of sick right now. That's why I haven't um, put out as many videos as I usually do. But uh, right here, we're gonna go ahead and talk about what type of games, movies, and hardware I've bought. And, uh, have bought, but we'll start out with the software right now, such as movies and games. So the only movie that I've bought is uh, Toy Story three on Blu-ray. Um, I've always been a big uh, fan of Toy Story, so naturally, I went and saw this movie, and then I bought it. Um, I don't buy uh, movies very often. Mostly because I don't watch them very often, but uh, this is one of the few movies. I grew up with Toy Story, so I went ahead and bought it. And I just love the Pixar movies. Alright, the next game I bought is Need for Speed Hot Pursuit for Xbox 360. Um, I was really debating whether I wanted to buy it for Xbox or PS3, but I decided to buy it for Xbox because um, it went up to 1080p, while the PS3 one only goes up to 1080i, which isn't a big deal, but... Slight differences, and me and my friend are really into the Burnout series, and if you can tell, Criterion Games made this game, and that's who made Burnout, so went ahead and bought it for Xbox so we could play together. And the next game, um, I know nobody really bought this game, but that's Black Ops, bought it for Xbox 360. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Yeah, everybody bought this game. Really good game. Uh, it was pretty much a no-brainer that I bought this for Xbox 360 because the online's better. For Xbox, and uh, so I went ahead and bought it for Xbox. You know, I'm loving the online story campaign was really good. Graphically, it's okay. I mean, it's eh. it's kind of like Modern Warfare 2. Okay, but graphics, I guess. But yeah, this game was really good. Enjoyed it a lot. I'm still playing the online. All right. <clears throat> then I bought this game for also PS3 because I had friends on both consoles, so I went ahead and bought it for both systems. Um, I mostly bought this game just for Nazi Zombies with my friends on PS3. But yeah, I mean, I liked it that much, so it warranted a uh, purchase of the game twice. Alright, and uh, this is kind of have a little bit of hardware in this part right here. But uh, when you buy Sports Champions with the PlayStation Move, you get these two things bundled together, kind of. I mean, you can buy it separately, but I bought it in the bundle. So only on PlayStation, PlayStation Move required. <clears throat> this is really a good starter game for PlayStation Move. I mostly play the table tennis, or ping pong, whatever you guys want to call it. But yeah, this game's really good. It has some nice inside cover art, you know, as all PlayStation 3 exclusives do. So yeah, I'm really enjoying that game. And the controller for Move feels great. Talk about that. I'll talk about the controller a little bit more later. And now, one of the biggest disappointments, and I'm not lying about this at all, Medal of Honor. Online's terrible. Campaign's barely passable. Only because the graphics are so good. Um, I found myself, when I'm running, trying to sprint through, I kept getting caught on things because it was like a little rock on the ground and stuff. So, this game had a lot of potential, and graphically, they filled it up perfectly. I mean, it looks great graphically, but... Story, I had a hard time following. Um... I really just, I didn't beat this game because I just kind of got bored with it, especially with Black Ops coming out. So let's go ahead and talk about hardware now. Let me go grab it, bring it over here so you guys can't see it. Might be able to see it. Yeah, no, no. Okay, so the most boring thing that I bought first is the Halo Reach Xbox 360 limited edition headset. Um, I bought this mostly because the wired one, I kept pulling it out of the Xbox 360 controller and it was really like pissing me off, so... Went ahead and bought this limited edition one. It looks pretty good. I like the silver with the black. It's just got some little, you know, cool stuff on it. So, that's my first piece of hardware. The next one is my iPod Touch. Now, I know guys, I've said I'm going to be doing a review on it, and I haven't gotten to it. But, uh, yeah, it's a really nice device. I'm loving it. I got a new case for it. Um... So yeah, I mean, it's definitely the best iPod Touch they've made to date. The HD camcorder is really good on it. And uh, there's a lot of other features that are on it that I like it a lot, like the retina display and stuff like that. And it's fast with that A4 processor. So I will try to do a review of that. I'm probably going to do one. It's just a matter of when. Okay. Then I bought the Black Ops book. Go ahead and maybe aim this now. Well, here, hold up. <clears throat> yeah, here's the book. I do recommend this if you guys are really big Call of Duty fans because it gives you a lot of information on online games, 
where you should run and stuff like that. And uh, during the campaign, it just has a lot of information. So yeah, I thought it was a pretty good purchase for only 19 bucks. So I went ahead and got it. <clears throat> and then my most expensive purchase, if you guys have stayed up to date with my movies, is The Beats by Dr. Dre. Uh, I said I would help, like, I'll tell you guys how the quality of these are doing, and they seem to be holding up pretty well. I was a little bit, <clears throat> I wasn't too sure about them when I first got them, but the quality seems to be holding up. Of course, I keep very good care of these, so I'm not the most rugged person with my electronics. But if you're like me and you like to keep your electronics nice, they seem to be holding up really well. Bass is still good as usual. So, I would have to say I officially recommend these now because the uh, hardware seems to be holding up. Okay, and right back to this really quick. Sorry, guys. Um, back to the PlayStation Move controller. Uh, this is probably the best Move-enabled device on the market. Comparing Wii... Um, move and connect in my opinion the trigger feels amazing i wish they could still if they could put this on the ps3 controller um they would have a grand slam on their hands because people are complaining about that but this feels great the overall feel on your hands nice this ball glows it's squishy yeah i mean it just looks great so i'm thinking about getting connect i'm still not too sure about that um I played it at my friend's house, and I'm not going to lie, I liked it more when I went over there, but I was still a little bit uh, not too sure about if I wanted to get it or not. So, uh, this is an update on my stuff. Here's my games. i to show you that one more time. So, there's my games, and then that's just my hardware type stuff, and then Toy Story 3. Alright guys, so this is Yankee7411 signing out. Uh, sorry about taking such a long time for getting a new video out. Alright guys, thanks. Bye.